Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon's Funhouse. What's gonna happen next? Who knows? Um, basically, the storyteller is uh, dead set on fucking me over. That's all I can tell you at this point. So, <laughs> either way, welcome back. Uh, we went ahead and renamed Leander over to Tom Matter. So, Tom Matter, welcome aboard. Hopefully, you are consistent of Matter and not of a ghostly apparition. Otherwise, your name would be a little bit misleading to me. And with that corny joke aside, <laughs> welcome aboard, Tom. Uh, let's see here, really quickly. Let me go ahead and deconstruct this. So actually, let's forget about the beds here for a second. I feel that I have better, more important things to build right now than beds, so we'll hold off. Um, time is slowing down because one of my guys is on fire since we are trying to... Oh no, the door's on fire! Don't... The door shouldn't be on fire! Door is not meant to be on fire. Um, let's make sure that this is part of our home zone. At least the door. Yeah, the door is. Guys, somebody get the door out of a fireplace because otherwise it's going to ruin the whole point that it's there for, which is to keep you guys from being like, Oh, there's bodies in an incinerator room, where it's kind of like, well, yeah, I mean, that's what it's there for. That's, uh, that's the point of the incinerator room. Giggle farts, forget about Val. Take care of the door. Val could deal for himself, I want to say. Zionic Wolf, thank you, my friend, for taking care of that fire. Fantastic Killer's now on fire himself. All right. So a few more bodies left to haul off. Uh, I hope this happens sooner than later. Uh, this whole hauling situation is really a pain in the dick. I'm gonna lie about that. At the same time, though, I, I would love to make another shortcut somewhere to there, but I feel that it's a little bit too scary for Raiders to actually make it across really easily. Like, maybe if I put a door right here, do you think, uh... It, it, like, here's the thing, if I put a door there and something happens to our defenses, the Raiders could then just crash through here and be inside of the base, while over here, if there's no door there, they still have to go through here and enter this line of defense. And then there's a door here, yeah, but... Um, they still have to go through at least two lines of defense, so that's the reason why I don't set up a, uh, like a quicker access to that. Which, you know, makes this process a bit harder, but, you know, I kind of have to deal with it. So, at the very least, um, fires are... Get Gaston off on fire. Come on, guys! You guys are really slowing this process down by me by getting on fire. Sure, it's probably my fault for letting you there, but, you know, just, uh... You gotta you got be able to tell Falcon no at times. Be like, Falcon, I don't want to go there. And be like, alright, man, you know, I appreciate your, uh... Oh, miniguns! Miniguns! You know what? Miniguns could probably solve all the problems in the world right now. <laughs> we have an extra... Quite a few extra ones, as a matter of fact. Um, alright. Let's take a moment here to find out who could benefit from some, uh... Actual miniguns here. Uh, the Alpha has a pulse rifle, not a minigun. Ah, uh, what would be better? Pulse rifle or a minigun. Uh, I'm not sure. I feel that the minigun gives you a better spray though, right? But the pulse rifle might be a little bit more... You know, I'll just leave the pulse rifle on him just for the sake of, uh, you know, some sort of disparity. Like, have different type of weapons, but... See, Data Arrow is going to be a minigun. Tasty Killer. Let's go into characters first and foremost here, huh? How about that? We start off with that and then we'll make our decisions based on that here really quickly. So, uh, Gaston. Shooting almost a 7. Texmed. 4. So I would love to get Guest on one, but he's over here hauling a body, so I'm gonna wait till he's done. Doug Paraben is definitely a no. Same with him. Ackercraft is a six, solid. Uh, Val is a shooting nine. He's got a minigun already though, so he's he knows what he's doing. Tiger Harris is almost a seven. You know what, Tiger Harris? You get yourself a minigun. You're almost a seven, you're almost there. Doesn't really matter. Slime Frog, almost an eight. He always has a minigun though, so he's good to go. Silver, shooting. Four, roughly 11 for Crazy Sam, but he's got the sniper rifle turret. He seems to enjoy that in the uh, colony logs that he posts on the videos, so I'll leave him with that. Eagle Eyes, not really. Harrison, almost an 8. R4 charge rifle. Eh, let's switch you over to... Yeah, let's just switch you over to a minigun. I'm not sure how better the minigun is to the rifle, if anything, but at the very least, I know what to expect with the minigun, which is crazy spraying, and I guess that could help us out in the long run right now. Mike Smith is a... Whatever, Shooter, Liam, Ryan Weller is a 6, just about, Crafty Wolf doing his thing over here, Andres Hint is almost an 8, but he's got a minigun already, so no need for one there. Juno Kim, nope, Zionic Wolf, you know, Zionic Wolf's almost a 7, so Zionic Wolf, you my friend, go and equip yourself a, a minigun as well. We're gonna have two more miniguns to go, by the way, or three with the one on the floor there. Uh, let's see, Meek Lovelka, he's already got one. Fire Hedge is, uh, almost an 11. Pulse Rifle. You know what? Let's forget the Pulse Rifle. We already have somebody equip one of them. So go with that. 
Giggle farts, uh, six, uh, almost a 12 year, but he's gotta go out one. Tossy killer. Uh, the alpha. It's got the pulse rifle, data error. It's got a minigun. Judo shops, almost a seven. Let's give Judo shop the other one. How about that? With a name like Judo shop, you might as well have a minigun. And we still have one more on the floor. No Moto, he's already got one. Sig Helberg, not a good shooter. Davis Vice, same thing. Samuel Lee? Eh, not really. Jack Wester? Eh. Zunquan, I think I already gave him one though, right? No, no, he doesn't have one. Good. So Zunquan, you grab the extra one that's over here then. And my friend, after this last minigun you're building, you are going to pretty much uh, just call it quits on this experiment over here. So... Do forever. Just one time, the one that you're doing right now. We'll finish that one off, and that's going to be pretty much the end of that scenario right there. Guys, don't just leave your guns in the middle of nowhere. Pick them up and take them back to where they should go. These guys, I swear to God, what, what am I over here doing? Like, oh, Who taught you guys manners? Was it me? It wasn't me. I would have told you to bring your stuff back. I'm too OCD to leave shit around the floor. Now, if you looked in my room, however, completely different story. OCD in games and shit like that, but my room's kind of like... Where do I put this, Falcon? Well, people don't call me Falcon in real life. But whenever they're over, it's kind of, where do I put it? It's like, eh, it's better wherever. No designated spot for it? Nah, it's, it's wherever, man. Wherever there's room, just go for it. Okay, so, um, bodies just about hauled off? Yes, okay. So now let's think about our defense scenario over here. Let's keep this in real time at the very least. Okay. We need turrets, first and foremost. And we also need to have a power conduit running through here. However, it's also going to be kind of scary to do that. So what I want to do is actually, um, well, we have this power conduit running through here, right? At least we did. Yeah, because it's connected to this guy, right? Let's check this out really quick. Power conduits, uh, power conduit. Yeah, it's connected to, well, it's connected to the door itself. Hmm. You know what? If I extended this over here, what well, we should extend this, right? Because I want more stone embrasures. So, you know what? I... I'm not completely done yet. I thought I was, but unfortunately, I screwed the pooch on that one. Not literally. Thank you very much. I don't do that. Um, so let's forward time over here, and what we should do is just deconstruct over this, and hopefully raiders don't show up right now when I put this hole over here and be like, Oh, hey, look. We completely bypassed the first line of the fence, and now you're fucked. So let's just forward time, and hopefully they'll deconstruct that and set these stone blocks up and running soon enough. I'd imagine they would, considering we are, for the most part, done with the body hauling. Sure, there's weapons to haul off still, but fuck weapons. We don't have room for them anymore. Alrighty, and thankfully there are stone blocks here, so I can just grab these and build that. So at the very least, uh, there you go. <laughs> it's slightly a little bit easier. Alright guys, come on. I should have built this soon. And what do we have here? A pod is landing nearby. It landed on that poor muffalo too. Or not really, but it looked like it did. Big Red still wandering around? Huh. I know that if I try to capture that man, though, the, the, whatever colony is going to get pissed at me. Not that it really matters. Do they even help me? They obviously fucking don't. Alrighty, guys. Almost built. Come on. Finish building it. One more. Just one more. Please build it. Please build it. <laughs> Please fucking, somebody come and build it. No motel? Thank you, my friend. Excellent. What do we have here? Jack Wester successfully created Tom Matter. So Tom Matter, welcome aboard, my bald friend. And you're a gangster, so maybe you're good with a gun? No. You're a better melee fighter than a shooter gang. So it's kind of weird. I guess he was like one of those old school like gangsters, like more fisticuffs than it is guns, you know? So a social ten, shooting five. Eh. Not too crazy about him, but I'm sorry, Tom. <laughs> I'm just not too crazy about what you have to offer us. So. Make firefighting one, I guess we'll make you a warden as well, since you're pretty good at talking. And, uh, oh, you can't clean? You can't even clean? Fine, we'll make you a hauler. And, fuck, I guess when you have to hunt, we'll have you hunt. Whatever. And, Tom, let me just hook you up with a light machine gun, I guess. That'll probably work out for the best here. Alright. Not the best, uh, use of my things there, but what I, that'll do. Alrighty, so now... We have the stone embrasures ready for this. So what do we want to do here is obviously enclose these a bit. However, I can't do that until I know that we're not going to have a raid for a while. I'm not that certain for that. So let's just keep time going in real time. And let's actually start setting up the groundwork. What do we want to do here? And obviously I'm going to put a metal wall to do what I did over here. Connect this to that. So first and foremost, um, we'll go with uh, 
I, I built heavy turrets here, so how about we do some energy turrets as well. Now, I want the entrance to be somewhere here in the middle, so let's make sure that that's going to be able to reach. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. That's not going to be able to reach here in the middle either. So the side ones are going to be a little bit fucked. However, they'll, they'll start doing some work once the raiders get closer. So we'll keep that in mind. I guess what I could do is make this like a... It seems kind of unnatural, but I, what I could do is set this up like in a jaggedy type of pattern. So that the raiders have to... I think I know what I'm talking about here. Like, if I was to do this, right, um, say I was to put, um, energy turret right about here, correct? Is that correct? Yes, that's the right angle, dude. So, say I was to do this, right? Uh, I'd have enough room for the sandbag. It basically takes a two blast radius, so one, two. I would want this to be one, two. So I could even move this one further in, as a matter of fact. So cancel this out. And we'll do... You know what? What about if we use the sniper turrets in here now, in the edge? Huh. Good thinking, Falcon. Good fucking thinking, finally. Alright, so sniper turrets, we'll finally use them. How about that? And we'll have them hang out... Like, over here on the edge, I guess. And... We'll set this up like this. Like, two at one. And then... Wait, 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 wait. I said two blast radius, right? This is too close to the wall, because then it would blow up the wall, and we don't want that happening. So, let's try this again. Sniper turret... here. Meaning this one has to move over a little bit. And then we'll have sniper turret. So again, two blast radius. So, one, two... This one needs to go here, and it won't blow up its friend. And then we'll have... Sandbags surrounding them, obviously. Okay. And those will be able to reach whatever fucking exit we shoot at here. And I guess we have to do the same for this one. Put two turrets over here, sniper ones, have them do their thing. And then we'll have um, these individuals just kind of go spray crazy over here. So, um, again, we're going to use a lot of metal right now. I don't care. We need to honestly fortify this defense so that I'm okay with leaving it by myself and not have to, like, micromanage the whole thing every single time. So now we'll do energy turrets. And again, we need, we're looking at a two blast radius here. So one, two, we'll leave this alone. So this is good. So we'll put that there, and then sandbag it around. And I apologize it's a little bit slow for you guys, but... At least I hope you see that I'm trying to, you know... I, I don't want to skip this over because it seems like a really important part, and I would love to get your input on it too. Like, oh, Falcon, good idea, or Falcon, terrible idea. Whatever idea it is, it's cool, man. So we'll put that like so. And there you go. Now, one, two, this guy could scoot over one, and we could still be okay. And we could scoot over a lot more over here. So, we'll keep that in mind for sure right now. Um, I guess the first thing we should do is move the door to the center. No, no, not yet. We won't move the door to the center because these sniper turrets can still reach over here. Um, and then once those are built, we'll deconstruct this guy, we'll put sniper turrets in its place. So let's forward time now, because we have a lot of building to do right now. And unfortunately for them, the turrets do take a bit longer. And the other thing I could do meanwhile as well is, uh, stone embrasures. Um, where do I want to put the stone embrasures? Actually, let's get the sniper, let's get the turrets running first, and then we'll deal with the embrasures. Because I'm going to have to probably shrink these a bit, because I'm going to probably put like three embrasures per gap. Just so that there's enough room for them to shoot through, but not actually hit our own turrets, because then that would be pretty counterproductive to what we want to do here. So, right now, the big initiative is building, so I just want everybody to just fucking build their asses off. Nothing else really matters at this point. Food, everything else is good. Everybody just needs to build, build, build. Uh, at least the pod beds are looking pretty snazzy, if you ask me. So, I'm okay with that. So, meanwhile, these things get built. I guess I could hang out for, for a little while, finally, and talk to you guys. I, haven't, I felt like I haven't done this at all, this whole recording session. This is the fourth episode of today. Um, and mind you, it's the start. Is it just, is it the start of summer, spring? I don't, I'm, I'm terrible with, um, what is this? Fuck you, Eric Barajas. I'm terrible with, um, seasons and whatnot, so, to me, this is summer because it's hot as dick. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is so hot right now. Um, and the thing about it being hot is that I happen to actually, I'm gonna have to deconstruct this and put a metal wall in here, by the way. And I guess we might as well do the same with this guy. 
this guy, and then this guy. What do we have here? Near area has been revealed. Okay, cool, I guess. Oh, that's one of the people that are still mining, huh? Oh, they're almost done with this whole mining process, too. Good. Good on you guys. Uh, yeah, so it's, for me, it's just so fucking hot as dick. The thing is, with my recording scenario... Why is it, oh, <laughs> I was like, did the game freeze? Why is it not moving? Uh, with my whole recording setup here, um, I record in my room, which is the area, only area in the place I can record, and it's not too... The thing is that my room isn't huge, right? It's kind of small. So I'm in a little bit of a tough spot when it comes to recording because um, I can turn on fans, I can turn on... I have a ceiling fan, not an AC. But either or, I guess, would be kind of noisy, right? So I can turn it on because then it would affect the recording itself and, like, it would distort my voice through the recording and yada, yada, yada. So the thing is, I'm over here literally stuck in a scenario where I have to be sweating my dick off over here, not to be crass or anything, but to record these. So uh, I'm not over here, like, saying that, like, you know, oh, pity me or anything like that. That's not the case, but I'm just saying that uh, I'm just trying to share with you guys a little bit as to what's going on here. Why can I build through this? It's interesting. Power conduit? Why are you not letting me build through there? I can't. Huh. That's unfortunate. I guess I could put metal walls here? You know what? Let's uh, put metal walls through here and then we'll run. Can I run the power conduits through here though? I can. Hmm. That's a kind of a pain in the dick right there. Because I don't want the Raiders to actually get this area over here, right? So, I would love a power conduit. I guess I could just run the power conduit normally through here. We're not getting any water in here anyway, right? Yeah, you know what? Cancel this out. And what I'll do is just use the regular conduits, I guess. And, uh... Connect them like so. One, two, three, and four. Alrighty. So yeah, it's uh, basically makes it a little difficult for me to record because uh, as the as I record more episodes, the room I'm in here longer and longer. I have all the windows shut, obviously, or else noise from outside is gonna come in and interfere. So I um, can't have any noise there or any type of thing that's gonna actually keep me like <laughs> comfortable. That's what I'm trying to get at here. So um, I'm over here just kind of like dying, and that's to me this is summer, even though it's probably spring in real. I think it's spring. I don't want to sound too ignorant over here, but I'm pretty sure it's spring, right? I don't know, man. I, ever since I stopped going to school, like, not like a dropout, but I finished my schooling. It's kind of like, school is what kept me in check. When I knew what uh, semester was going on, I was kind of like, oh, I'm going to spring. Oh, I'm going to summer. Oh, I'm going to winter. Oh, I'm going to fall. That's how I knew, uh, I guess, uh, seasonal changes. But now that I'm out of school, it's like, uh, fuck. It's kind of like times of days and like days of the week. I don't know the days of the week anymore. Alrighty, so there you go. Those are going to be... Now, why are these guys not, uh, sniper turd? Why are you not powered? Or not, at least, well, you, sh you are powered, but... Why are you connected to this thing? This one's connected, right? I mean, I'm not sure why. It, actually, you know what? These guys shouldn't even be on right now, but... One second, it seems to me that the majority of these guys aren't connected. Why is that power conduit? Well, this one's connected to this one. I, I would rather just have you connect to this. You know, that's the reason why I built you there. <laughs> okay, whatever, I guess. Fuck the things I set up for you guys. Um, hmm. They should all be on, though, right? Let's... Is there, like, an eclipse? All right, let me try this again. Turn these guys on. I'm not going to leave these on, on, obviously, but I just want to... Make sure that they're getting the proper power running through them so that... Once we do get invaded, I know that these guys are going to, like, let me down here. Yeah, they're all running. Okay, all good. Crisis averted. Turn this off. Uh, v, I guess I could just use shortcuts for once here. Alrighty. So, sniper turds are set up here. Good. Really excellent. Now, um, now this gives me the chance... What do we have here? Yeah, whatever. Now this gives me the chance to move the entrance to the center, which is what I need to do now. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, oh, God. What sucks about this, now that the dummy has to be moved, I might have to reconstruct this again. And it's going to be a pain in the dick. I don't want the turrets to destroy the dummy, though. <laughs> so the dummy has to move over. Or maybe even build another one. So let's actually set up another dummy to be built soon enough. What, what is this dummy considered? A structure? Uh, here we go. 500 silver, 500 metal. That's unfortunate, but whatever. So they'll come in through here, and then they'll see dummy. And I want them to deal with the dummy like... Uh, 
like so. Just kind of get them over here. Entrance would be in the middle. Dummy could be hanging out right about here. Enough so that they don't have to like get a good shot at the dummy from the outside. That's the last thing I want happening. Actually, that's the case then. Just move dummy right about here. That makes sense. And then we'll have one more dummy. Uh, say the entrance is right about here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Here is good. Okay. So deconstruct this. And we might as well also deconstruct this here. And we'll put a door in its place instead. Alright, fast forward time. So we still have a big major things to build. I should have probably built the turrets before I even dealt with the dummies, but you know, whatever. What's done is done at this point. What's going on, Cambiar? Just walking by? Handful of stones? Yeah. You guys are kind of used to using stones to fight, huh? That's when I call you, you're kind of useless for me. Alright, so that's built. Let's put up the ba -ba -ba wooden door through there. We will deconstruct this. Put a stone wall in its place. Alright, so this needs to all happen before the next raid too, by the way. So we gotta keep that in mind that this is really imperative to happen right now. Don't, nobody say you could come in here, Cambio. You get the fuck out of here with your stones, right? Don't be leaving those stones in my base too, by the way, right? We have a strictly no stone policy here. Yeah, you get out of here. I guess he was a little bit intimidated by me talking down to him that way. That's alright though. Anders Hint built that for us. We gotta get this uh, door here built, so hopefully that's done now. Good, 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 good. Don't run off. Just finish building it. And we are cleaning at the very least again, so that's good to know. Alright, so I'll, I'll continue with the bed soon enough, but again, defense is the major thing at the moment. And speaking of defense, we could probably even set up blast charges to coincide with this. So we have one, two... And then three right there, and we could probably even deconstruct these bad boys now. We don't really need them. And same with this scenario over here too, right? I'm gonna go with one and two. Deconstruct these guys. All right. Somebody needs to come and build this door, by the way. <laughs> the raiders come in here. It's kind of like, oh look, wide open door policy. Let's just come in here and fuck it all up. Oh, we have so many weapons all over the base, man. I need to make like an, a bigger drop zone or at least like a bigger area for it, but... Man, at the very least, I'll move them over here for now, but Jesus, I feel like... We, we're not getting like any combat traders, which is what's really terrible about this whole thing. Weapons, uh... Preferred... What up? Door build? Please build door. Alright, build turrets, or not turrets, but build the blast charges, please. Use those to- no, use the metal there to build those guys. Just make it a lot easier on yourselves. Alrighty, cool. At least two of them are built. One more left. Okay. So now that that's done with, we also need to start thinking about deconstructing over through here. What is this? Uh, trade chest mountain nearby and they're a wood economy vessel. Wood economy is not what we need. It's not gonna actually do anything for us, but just for the hell of it, let me have a... Uh, Samuel Lee, go check this. He's not our... Yeah. See, JL's deal with wood. We're not really interested in any of that. We have nothing to sell to them. So it's unfortunate not a scenario that's going to benefit any of us right now. Alright, so all of our blast charges are set up though, which is good. So now, let's start thinking about setting up our next few turrets here. We have a lot of metal still. So I'm not really worried about overspending at the moment. Again, blast radius of two. So one, two. Pitch right there. Blast radius of two. Right there. Okay. And now we'll put sandbags around you guys. Um, are you guys lined up? You are. You just realize you guys don't need complete sandbags all the way around. So if anything, just deconstruct these guys over here. Alright. And that'll work out. So now we have one, two. This guy can scoot over one over. And... Yeah, this guy can scoot over one over, honestly. So I'll do that soon. But before we do that, we got to make sure that everything's set up here. Robin actually fixed one of the dummies, so that's cool. We have one of the dummies that's going to take fire for us. And let's see, that's going to get built. So before I drop this down, i got to make sure that we'll have it set up in time here. So, uh, one, two, turret needs to go over here, right? So let's deconstruct this. It's kind of scary for me to do that right now, but... I still have to give it a try either way. So... Turret's going to be here, so one, two... 
And here could be the other sandbag. One, two, sandbag here would be one, two. Okay. So we'll do this. And then we'll put a heavy turret in its place here. Okay. And then one, two, perfect. So that'll work out right there. I also want to make it so that this door doesn't have to rely on powering this guy, but... Hmm. I guess I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay, so that'll get built soon enough, and then what we could do, obviously, is bring the sandbags around this guy. We don't need all of these sandbags over here now. Alright. Oh, man. I I'm really digging this. This is basically what I should have done to begin with. But now I'm feeling a bit more confident. Now, the downside to this is the raiders are going to be a bit of a bigger group now since we have a much larger amount of turrets. So turrets does affect the amount of raiders that show up. So uh, we're giving, we're doing ourselves a good thing right now. But at the same time, it's almost at the same time fucking us over in the long run. So um, hopefully um, it's good enough. And luckily we've been left alone for a while to actually make this happen. So I'm, I'm really glad about that. We'll do another heavy turret over here. So let's see. We're going to have a blast radius of one, two. Perfect. So that one will go there. And we'll put sandbags around this man like so. Or not really man, but whatever. Okay, good. And I guess I could scoot this over one more. I could probably fit two more in there. Let's see. If I was to do one, two turret over here. Requires four spots and one, two turret over here. Just about... I'd, I'd like to do that, as a matter of fact, but I'm going to wait it up. So how about this, guys? How about we call it an episode here today? Um, completely awesome episode in terms of being left alone, getting shit done, and I think that we finally, finally have done it correctly. Uh, I've said this before, and it's uh, gone bad, so hopefully this one actually does stick, and I, I feel really confident about this whole scenario here. If these turrets fail us, then you know what? There's absolutely no fucking hope. And here we go. Raiders right on time, too. That's a huge crowd. So again, because of the extra turrets, that's going to be more of a raider. So here we go, guys. Uh, we don't even have this one built yet, which is actually a little bit scary. Oh, it's really scary as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, God. Because that's one of the ones that's going to deal with people coming in immediately. So Jesus Christ. Maybe I took that one down too, uh, too soon. But find out next episode, guys. I'll catch you then.